Tuesday time. Uh, I decided I'm probably going to do this like maybe once a month. Uh, I do apologise for my wrist in the corner here. I'm trying to make sure that stir fry doesn't invade like he usually does. So I'm chasing him with a laser pointer. Uh, yeah, anyhow. I'm going to try and do a video like this once a month. Um, uh, just a general sort of updates video. So it's all, you know, confined to one video a month and not that I'm doing updates every other week instead of doing um instead of doing like a proper video or anything um so basically uh first update channel updates uh i'm now aiming to do two videos a week uh hopefully one on a monday and one on a thursday if i know i'm going to be busy i am going to do both videos on one day and um i will just upload them on separate days so they're not you know together or anything um and yeah, so hopefully uh, I can have more videos coming and that will be great. Um, another thing, uh, I it's been a while since I've done a wedding update and I have things all cool and sorted now, sort of, in a crazy panicky way. We have a venue sorted, um, uh, yeah, uh, we're now getting married on November 18th at Soul Park um, and that's gonna be so cool because that place is really pretty it's actually much better than the venue that we almost had a while back that I mentioned um, this is a much better venue and I'm way happier with it uh, it's gonna be awesome um, yeah and uh, we have a meeting uh, this month Wait, oh no, hang on, it's still February. <laughs> we have a meeting uh, next month, which sounds like a weird thing to say when tomorrow is next month. But yeah, we have a meeting next month um, with the registry office so that they could go over our birth certificates and everything and make sure that we're both real people and that Kev is definitely divorced from his last wife, um, which he is, um, and that we can legally marry. And then from there, we get to do all of the planning and stress and woo. Um, Hopefully it won't be too much stress. I'm expecting it to be quite stressy, but I'm hoping that it won't be too stressy. And then that way we can have our Maze Balls wedding. And it will be great. Um, I'm pagan and Kev is agnostic. Uh, I think I mentioned this in the last video. So we're going to have a sort of combined ceremony. We're going to write our own vows. Um, it's going to be very definitely uniquely us. Uh, I just realised I haven't explained this thing. Uh, I needed a hat. Um, sorry for the threads hanging off it. I haven't. I literally finished this 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 morning, so I haven't actually trimmed it or anything. But I needed a new hat, and I found a crochet pattern from the forties. Um, it's a Dutch cap, like a sort of milkmaid cap. Um, thought it was really cute and unique, and so I decided uh, that was what I was going to do. So I made it. And yeah, so I have a Dutch cap uh, hello again stir fry. Well, it was still less of a wobble than usual. <laughs> He's definitely less interested in this and more interested in the dot. However, I've just noticed that the dot reflects off my television screen and so you just got a face full of dot for me there. <laughs> yeah, um, other stuff going on in my life. Uh, the panic attacks. I've actually had a lot less of those lately, um, although this isn't actually down to the uh, hospital. Uh, the, my hospital um, appointments finished after four weeks, uh, the course finished. Um, I don't think it actually really helped me very much. It's going to be great for trying to get over my phobia of blood, but my phobia of blood is not what gives me panic attacks. Um, I can imagine it would have been great for people that suffered from certain kinds of panic attacks, but it was a big group thing, and we all have different. We all had panic attacks for different reasons. Um, mine, um, mine can just come out of nowhere with no trigger. Sometimes a lot of mine had to do with people's reactions to me. Um, for example, one I had a while back, uh, about a month ago. I had because um, uh, I had an argument with the bus driver um, 
and basically what it is is to do with the zones we're in uh my zone is a different zone to the one i was going to however apparently there's a zone in the middle somewhere that is there is a bus stop in the middle somewhere that isn't in either zone what i should be able to do is buy a bus ticket for my zone and a bus ticket for the other zone however i have a regional pattern not a regional pass i have a tiny and weir pass um which uh, gives me all of the zones in Tain and Weir but the zone I was going into was in Durham which isn't included on that pass so I should be able to use my uh, pass up until the border and then buy a green pass however this guy argued with me that I couldn't do this even though I know I could because I have uh, confirmed this with the bus company before told this to him, he said no they don't know what they're talking about and threw me off his bus and I had a panic attack because A he was rude to me and B I was meeting my friend because uh, she was going to the hospital and I was accompanying her so she wasn't on her own and so I had a panic attack and uh, it wasn't great and you know I can't, that's not an avoidance thing I'm not avoiding anything there so it's not like something I could gradually you know oh man how do I explain it's not like something I could gradually put myself into a situation of because it wasn't a situation I was causing whereas like uh, the example they gave was um, someone who uh, panics around crowds if you sort of gradually put yourself into situations where there are crowds the more you do it the less it's going to cause you panic attacks but mine aren't anything like that so that isn't really something you do and a lot of the course was geared towards people who have panic attacks like that but mine aren't like that and I tried to bring this up and I basically just met a stone wall. Um, they basically seem to think that uh, I, this that all panic attacks are like the previous panic, the other panic attacks. Like, well, that isn't going to help me. So write it down. And I'm like, well, I am writing it down. I am writing this down all the time in the hope that I can find something that will help. Well, write it down. I've literally just told you I'm writing it down already. So um. Yeah, that wasn't very helpful. Uh, I tried to, tried to explain this uh, with my next steps meeting and uh, they basically told me that they weren't panic attacks, which is weird because they feel like panic attacks to me. I've had panic attacks before. I have had panic attacks that have been caused by avoidance before when I was younger. Um, I used to have them on my way to school after I had problems being bullied. Um, this, it's the same the same stuff is happening, it's just I don't have a thing I'm avoiding this time. Um, yeah, I, so I know what a panic attack feels to me, so I know it's panic attacks. They basically told me it wasn't panic attacks, it was uh, problems with my self-confidence. Now, I don't have problems with my self-confidence. I used to have problems with my self-confidence when I was a teenager. I no longer have those problems. Um, I'm pretty self-confident these days. I'm probably the most confident I've been ever. So I know what low self-confidence feels like and it isn't that either. And basically the woman just kind of insisted that that had to be what it was and I could feel a panic attack coming on. So like I'm sat on the phone here as well for this because you know, way NHS funding can't actually meet a person in face to face. Got to be over the phone. Um, so yeah, uh, basically I could feel a panic attack coming on because she just wasn't listening to a word I was saying and I was just like, yeah, sorry, this is helping and hung up and I haven't heard another thing since. However, I haven't had any panic attacks or anything since either. Um, basically, I think I'm just going to see what happens and if they do start happening again, I'm going to see if maybe like the Mind Charity or a Mental Health ch Charity would be any more help because yeah the, the NHS wasn't but then actually funnily enough on that very day I was watching a news report about how various people have had problems with mental health service accessing mental health services in the UK and one of the biggest complaints seems to be people don't listen so there you go uh, there's that um yeah that was slightly less of a positive thing than we started with. Wedding stuff is far more positive. Let's talk wedding stuff and stuff like that. Um, I don't have any more wedding stuff to talk about. Uh, what other things have we got coming up? Um, I don't think we have anything else coming up um, that I can think about talking about at the moment. Um, 
Back to crochet though, uh, I'm also working on a very nice mini kit. Not very far through it. It's going to be high necked on. Uh, I'll just. Please don't lose that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, same yarn, high necked uh, mini cape. It's going to go over the shoulders here, maybe like sort of swoop down and back up again. So, you know, it's an option instead of a scarf. Maybe kind of a cute option. Uh, the other thing, uh, I don't like on my greatest today. Um, I don't feel particularly well. I'm a little sniffly. So if you're wondering why I'm just wearing a t-shirt um, instead of like Lolita or something fancy, that's why. I don't feel great. But I wanted to do this video and I wanted to chat and natter and talk about stuff. So there we go. I've talked about stuff and I've distracted the cat. He is gone and he is not playing with the camera and that is great. So I will hopefully uh, see you for another video on Thursday. Um, oh here he comes. Here we're talking. <laughs> I'll see you for another video on Thursday. Uh, this week is probably going to be another one I've been meaning to upload for a while. Uh, just some stuff that I've had kicking around on my uh, hard drive for ages. And I will hopefully, <laughs> this is what I get for speaking too soon, I will hopefully have some new videos and the like next week and it will be great. Goodbye.